got Tyler with me, bringing you guys another review. This time we have the MacBook Pro. This is the 2016 model. So basically I'll show you around the whole box here. Obviously it says MacBook Pro. You have the logo. Same thing on this side. Same thing on this side. So I'll take you to the back. I'll show you right here. It says MacBook Pro 13 inch. This comes with uh, 2.9 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes worth of storage, and 520 gigabytes. So basically, this one is upgraded compared to the main one you get, the lower end ones. It all it all depends. But basically, I'll open it up for you. So you get your. gray. It has the headphone jack, the two USB Type-C ports on that side, then it has two more on this side. So I'll just set this off to the side for right now. Alright, so what comes in the box is just your standard USB Type-C on both ends. Right there. Then you got your booklets, which usually always comes, comes with. You don't really need that. Then the last thing you got your charging brick. Your charging brick is USB Type-C because of the connector. Basically there's really not much left in here. There's nothing else in the box so if you see people that, that have stored other things in the box they're obviously lying because there's only that stuff that comes with the box. But that's basically what comes in the box. There's really nothing too special with the MacBook, it is a lot skinnier and it's really, really lightweight. It's really nice. It does click some fingerprints though, but not bad if, if it was like glass or anything like that. But so, you open it up, it already pops up, and I'll sign into the guest here. And so you guys can see the screen and everything. But basically, this is the one with the touch bar, so it has all that neat feature and all that other good stuff. The touchpad here is twice as big as it was in the previous years, and then you got your two speaker grills on either side. So basically, I'll show you guys the specs of this computer. See, this is the Mac o OS Sierra. It's on the latest version of the MacBook. Basically, it is the 13 inch 2016 model, three thunder or the four Thunderbolt 3 ports, 2.9 gigahertz Intel Core i5, 16 gigabytes, 2,133 millihertz um, graphics is the 550 at 1,563 MB. So basically, this is all in here then you got the display which comes at 2560 by 1600 then just gives you the graphics card again storage as you can see right here that the the flash storage is 500 gigabytes even though it does say 512 so obviously there's something else being taken up which I think is all the stuff they installed in here previously so that's probably about 12 gigabytes worth which makes sense with everything Apple installs so basically you can see what I have left then obviously if you're your support and your service so that other good stuff but that's basically what this computer is it's super super nice I like it a lot everything that you do on the touch bar I'll lean it up so you guys can see it like literally you can play back sound sound. You can freaking talk to Siri if you really wanted to. Obviously I have to enable it first on this computer. I haven't yet. But literally instead of having all those having all those just regular keys up there, it's nice to have the touch bar. If you open Safari up, windows you open will come down into this bar down here so you can quit tab them instead of doing all your directional taking the mouse trying to find out where it's at and clicking on the next one. 
but basically the biggest thing is just the touch bar with this battery life is not bad it's probably about they say it's like nine hours of, of usage but it all depends on what you do if you're big in like browsing the web constantly listening to music and all that like you're not going to get those nine hours it's just not going to happen no matter how much you try to save battery life in other aspects that you can you'll probably get between seven to eight then if you're heavy with like running software like uploading videos and all that stuff it'll definitely clear your battery a lot faster and it'll take way longer to do all the other stuff that you need to do and always be next to a, um, an outlet so you can keep this thing charged but charging is very 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 fast for a computer of this size and a battery of this size that is meant to last as long as possible when you're not doing all that heavy software stuff it does probably takes around two hours ish but that's usually around most MacBooks for charging like there's no like fast charge or anything on this but it does charge up very quick because the Thunderbolt 3's do send a lot faster connection through and throughout compared to just regular standard cables that we've been using for a while so the Thunderbolt 3's will definitely change the way stuff will charge how fast it will charge and just transferring data through and throughout basically if you're connecting like monitors and stuff like that you will have to do a lot of adapters and stuff with this a lot of dongle stuff that's the only bad thing is you have to get used to that until everyone else starts coming out with Thunderbolt 3 stuff but basically there's really not much else to talk about this I mean if you guys want more in-depth review of it there is the touch ID sensor which is just one finger touch and bam you're in basically but other than that there there's really not much they have the butterfly keyboard this is the second one it's pretty nice it is it is very clicky I don't know how good you guys can hear that but it does click pretty hard and I mean if you're a fast typer and a hard typer a lot of people are gonna hear you especially if you're not quiet space but I mean other than that I think it's definitely a good computer I like it a lot Apple always makes really really good products compared to everyone else the only bad thing is the price points are just so dang high to buying something like this but the sound is good on it really good sound but other than that I really don't have much to say I know Tyler here has the what is it the MacBook Air or is it the Pro he has the MacBook Pro the 2015 model I believe it's the 2015 model but I mean he likes his but do you have any comments on yeah, I like it. I like the touchbar a lot. It's got that sleek look design in the gray. I like it a lot. It's super light, like you said. And I, I, I think, I believe it holds more gigs in storage than mine, so that's a really, really, really good part about it. Which too. helps with like videos and all that stuff. Because the more gigabytes you have, the better you can run more and more programs and stuff like that. But and the speakers on the side, but yeah, it's a really good computer. I haven't thought about getting it, but I don't have the money right now, so yeah. There you go, guys. There's our, there's our opinion on the, the MacBook. Go ahead and, and subscribe and, and like this video. And if you have any comments about the 2016, just leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them as detailed as I possibly can and give you as much information on it as much as possible. Definitely recommend to anyone that's looking for a new computer, as long as money is not a problem, definitely, definitely, definitely go for this because this picture, the screen picture is perfect, everything else is nice, touch bar is nice, the ID sensor is really nice, no one else can get a computer once you have the ID on, it's just really nice, really lightweight, easy to carry around, good battery life, just, you just have to live the dongle life, that's the only bad thing, but other than that, definitely go and do some more research on it, or ask me or Tyler questions, and we'll help you as best as you can, but thanks guys for watching.